Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and this one is on Rocket Stealth Machine and Flyer Beast vs. Breeze from of Invasion from Below from 2014, of course. <coughs> so on the front of the backs here you have the two logos, of course, and picture of the sets that come within, and on top of which is some nice artwork depicting the sets and also the evasion from below logo and down below just a little half choking hazard on just one of them and also the titles of the sets and also the minifigs and jumper included within within and also the uh, age group set number amount of pieces and on the back of the two it You can do you see another or pose in the sets and the actual size of each minifig and accessories included and all the features of them. And also on the bottom you have some nice black and white artwork which is the same out of the top of which but yeah. And onto the instruction manuals. Same picture as that were on from the bags and everything. There's a little comic strip there, and out of all the sets together, and also the mobile app, of course. On the back, on the, win on the online survey, as a couple of combination models that there. Are. Two other combination models. And the pieces that come with the sets and last building steps. So now on to the two fit mini figs for, included with these sets. Get Daniel Rocca and Nally Breeze, of course. And for this first wave of which, only way to ever get either of these two, well, Breeze of which did also come in a poly bag, sort of at the same time, but it was kind of more hard to obtain, but whatever. But at least he did come in one other set, the following wave, of course, but yeah. And of course, Rocca, which both of which do have all the same pieces as the rest, minifig pieces as the rest, but in both gold and lime greens, where they're suiting colors, of course. But Raka's main armor bit in metallic dark gray and Breeze metallic silver, of course. And underneath each uh, helmet piece of which, or yeah, helmet piece. With traditional mini big head pieces, which, as I explained in my first review, um, of which how is uh, how they work, and yeah, and whereas for Raka's helmet piece, of which, which just about the same, kind of similar to the Raka brain attacks helmet piece, but without the visor, of course. But yeah, sculpting quite nicely done to there. And breezes of which, just about like that of Breeze 1.0 and Breakouts ones, but of course with the com link included there and some nice detailing around the course. And yeah, and also with Breeze in this set is do get a trans orange chain piece and a pair of light black lightsaber hilt. It's used as handle bits, obviously. And interesting thing with Breeze is it does have a couple of those like little connector uh, plate pieces with a couple of trans orange cones on there to represent uh, leg thrusters and 
she the only one of of all the heroes to ever use the uh, back part of the leg pieces obviously yeah although I think these uh, bits should have been in uh, trans blue since in the short special they are in like blue of course and also her her eye bits of which also be in blue of course but Although, probably stuck with red just to stick with her traditional colors, so color schemes, of course. And also, it, only in Rock of Stealth Machine is just one of the jumper bits, but in orange. And of course, common throughout the sets, and I'll say this again, but they have which different comprised uh, with like three separate pieces, but this top piece that in wave two also came in blue. Ooh, but yeah, so quite different than the mini Viserax in Bionicle playsets, of course. And the main feature with all these is press on the butts or like that and they fling, jump right up. Very fun, obviously. So first off for the builds is Raka Stealth Machine, which as you can see, quite nicely done, but also quite simplistic compared to like both the compared to the last the two from last last throwback Thursday, of course. So now first of which are the legs, also quite simplistic of that with Gunmel Gray armoring, which. I think some more gold, like these in gold, which I think should have been better, or even the feet in gold also should have been better, but yeah. And also, does have a holster holding one side holding a wrench there, and one holding probably a small uh, sledgehammer or something, but yeah. And also, just like Furno XL machine, size 5 armor bit, probably used as the foot rest to that. As for the main canopy piece of which, which his and Evil Excel machine uh, also includes this, but in lime green. Very nice for that. And the uh, cockpit piece of which does have a few clear uh, uh, stickers to it, but one of which saying to notify it's Raka specific, and also to the sides of which does have one of those coat hanger bracket pieces uh, which holding these bits that hold the uh, clear green lightsaber rods onto a course. And so kind of interesting how that is. Let me attach these on. And of course, can attach on like all the other ones. And just like all the rest, of course. And also, on top of which is a size 4 armor bit with his little blaster that he can shoot others with. And then the uh, our shoulder bits, of which those same pieces that we've seen since Invasion from Below, or I mean Breakout, <coughs> but this time in black. Nice to use for mocking, of course. And as for this one, armor bit, which has the simple three points of move articulation, of course, and also do you get another size 5 armor bit with some interesting printing to it, but like we get in all of these sets of this time, but yeah. And also, do get the Savage Plant clock pieces, but in trans green, like we've seen on Scar Rocks in the last wave, of course. And those interesting pieces that hold them on to. Always nice to have for mocking, of course. And on the other, for the armor, other armor, which another size 5 armor piece, but in black, plain black, of course. and also, the short thing to it, just like uh, Raka in Breakout also had, but yeah. And also, the same exact uh, launcher as 
we've seen since Breakout, of course. And as on the back is another size 4 armor bit. And also, same exact uh, canister like bit piece for him to examine this. Uh, this jumper into a course and a large sticker onto it and also nice to have in green which we also see on Evo XL machine of course but yeah and just like with storm or freeze machine it pivots up and down I'm not sure why but whatever And now that is about it with Rocket Stealth Machine. And now on to Flyer Beast. Or otherwise the one medium sized beast of this wave, of course. Kind of comparable to that of Crystal Beast in the following Slumber Wave, of course. And of course, this was probably the one that they're in. So neat color scheme, just like Jaw Beast had where it's black, light blue, and yellow. Also quite neat as well, but yeah. And so now, from the ground up as always, as we do get like two of the like new foot pieces, all new for this wave, of course. Which, as you see, also does have like, an open spot, space spot to it, where you can fit the smaller version into as well, which on the 2015 Joan Grievous figure, which well did, of course. And also, so these feet pieces, are they well good for mocking? Yes. And of course, can add toe bits onto them, of course, but yeah. And of course, the, and as for the like lower leg pieces, in light blue, just like we've seen, haven't seen since like Thorn Racks in Breakout, of course, but yeah. And also get a size 4 armor piece, but with some interesting prints on printing onto it, which is quite nice, of course. And as for the uh, torso piece, so which the traditional kind in black, of course, and also the narrower torso piece. I'm not sure why, but whatever. As for one of the arms, of which same exact thing going on in black hand piece, of course. And also, do you get a Lego City, uh, what's it called? Uh, antenna piece, of which with a, a little Technic rod with a cone piece on to it. Since, of course, in the uh, short special, of course. It gets on, goes onto a rooftop and breaks off one of these, of course. And whereas, and but whereas, Blur Beast will have kind of a similar thing to it as well, but yeah. And also for the other armor, which which I am kind of questioned about. This they call official, like, but of course, nice to have these little uh, pieces here. Add and he has a full finger, which to which I ask, why not add another one of or these two, two more of these pieces into as well? So, well, the set has 91 pieces, but why not add two more onto it, bump it up 93, but, which would have been nice as well, but yeah. But although you can add that on if you want to, but yeah, or with your own pieces, but yeah. And also, as for the head part, the head, which is just about the same as, or same two pieces as all the other uh, beast sets, of which end, of course, does that, of course, it's in this kind of way instead of like upside down, like some one others, but yeah. And also, some nice printing to that one, to it, and yeah. And also, for the back part, of which, with that neat piece on there, which we've seen since. A drill dozer in 2011, of course, and also do you get those limb piece, traditional limb pieces again, and also some 
like four of the Ben 10 tail pieces in black, uh, which is good to have for mocking, obviously. And also, and of course, do you have that uh, system? And also, do you have the system brick that has the ball joint onto it, and it's connected with that little piece from both Stormer XL and Speedy Demon and a few others. Which, and of course, they're to, uh, which to have Breeze stamped on, of course. Not sure why include on there for when it's the villain and it has something needed for the hero. Uh, which, which I'm gonna guess probably, I guess it's just Lego Steer thought process. And of course, in the Nickelodeon episode, Breeze can like just chain right up, chain it up, of course. Or at least tie it up, obviously, and yeah. Also forgot to mention is the tail here, which also made with one of those pieces, of course, and also one of those pieces that we've also seen on Jaw Beast, obviously, and a couple more spike pieces as well. But I think they sh should have added like a oh, one or two, probably one more. A limb piece to make give it more posability, but yeah. Oh, and so now on to the final verdict. So my overall verdict is I think these of which are quite cool set quite cool sets for the time. Like you get like Rocket X like Rocket Stealth Machine. So quite good build for the price point and good use of pieces for that. And also Flyer Beast versus Breeze, of which nice recolors of pieces and good use of some pieces there, but still wish that this one arm still had a couple X around just had one more bone piece to give it more posability, but whatever. Or I mean, yes, would have been great, but yeah. But although for Rocket Stealth Machine, I think it would have been nice to include one more jumper. But yeah. And also, uh, would have been nice if a couple more pieces were in gold since it's Rocket's main color, but yeah. Or maybe that's just me, but but overall, so now if y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.